U.S. government investigators are accusing Google of underpaying women. Justice reporter Paula Reed is following this. We want to see more women in senior leadership positions. In recruiting videos, Google says it wants more women at the top of the company. We want to see more people from underrepresented groups because it makes us a better company. But the Department of Labor is investigating the tech giant for gender pay discrimination. At a court hearing Friday, a Labor Department official said the agency found systemic compensation disparities against women at Google. The government sued Google back in January, demanding statistics on employee compensation. Federal contractors are required to comply with federal civil rights law. The government says Google was selected randomly for an audit and refused to hand over data despite repeated requests. They run the risk of losing all their federal contracts. That's a significant punishment. Randolph McLaughlin teaches labor law at Pace Law School. To be accused in this day and age of paying women across the board, not just a woman, we're talking potentially hundreds and thousands of women at a lower rate, that significantly has the potential to damage their brand. In a statement, Google says it vehemently disagrees with the government. Every year we do a comprehensive and robust analysis of pay across genders, and we have found no gender pay gap. Other than making an unfounded statement, which we heard for the first time in court, the Department of Labor hasn't provided any data or shared its methodology. To show its support for equal pay, Google pointed us to a tweet the company issued, as well as an op-ed and the company's equal pay guide. Did not provide us with any data, nor would it tell us whether or not it had given the Department of Labor the information it has requested. Vlad? Paula Reed in Washington, thank you.